Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan 1993 here, back with more Pokemon Scarlet, the Shield, or, the Teal Mask, no, Indogus TLC Part 2. Um, so, starting today, I'm going to be uploading videos of Scarlet probably simultaneously, uh, one day after the other because of the drop today, which was the, uh, prologue, or, I think it's called the, it's either prologue or epilogue, but one of them, um, they, uh, Decided to release it, and I thought it was the 18th. I thought I had more time. So I want to catch up to that point as soon as possible. I can do the prologue as well without, hopefully, with minimal spoilers. But I stopped here on my way to fight the Steel-type leader because I've never seen this before. It has a lot of uh, crystals in it. So I just want to stop here and kind of look around, you know what I mean? Nice little place. There's Stone Edge TM right there. So it's like a good place to find, like, Magnemite here in the Outbreak. The elected, elected right there. Just gonna grab the stuff that we see around here. Psychic Terra Shard type 15. Hearthstone. Another Hearthstone. And what's this? Another stone. A couple floor stars. That's interesting. Alright, now that we explored this area, I just wanna kinda of look around a little bit because it's actually a very interesting place. I see a miner over there, I think. I'll worry about that later. So, right over here is where we need to go. This. Uh, place over here. There's an item down here. I must actually grab it. Die ball, drill bar claw, float stone. Have a shit ton of those. Some stuff is real good for selling, so I pick it up. Ooh, a couple carbos. That's actually, that's actually very helpful for team building. I gotta say, this lady, I understand that she was kind of like, uh, more like a class present kind of thing, but I wasn't expecting her to have steel. I was expecting her to have like a, maybe like a, um, I guess I really can't do a lot of types because I've done a lot of types in the main game already, but I was expecting something else besides steel. So we did complete the trial on top of that, but right now, I'm going to, when we start the trial, I'm going to start with Breloom and Ranaculus. That's going to give me time to set up everything. Breloom should be able to deal some damage with Mach Punch, possibly um, endure one shot because of the Focus Sash, and I got the Technician power up. And I'm going to see where that goes from there. This shouldn't be extremely hard, not like compared to how um, the last two were, because I actually have decent counters. But, all right, picked up a couple special attacks there. All right, now we have to do the whatever challenge this is. Own the Canyon Plaza for the team that supports Amaras of the Elite Four. You're Phoenix, right? One of the BB League challengers. You want to take on the Elite Trial here? Are you willing to pay? Yes. Thank you very much. Do we receive and noted? Here comes our very own Amaris. Phoenix, yes. As you see, I'm pre present and ready for your trial. Change of locations are required. Come. What's this challenge going to be now? So you, to allow you to set the league was the right goal. And ex, an exception among ex, exceptions. I was against it, as you know, the academy allowed it, and the ruling is absolute. Therefore, I can carry out my duty as a fellow of the elite force flawlessly, as I always do. The elite trial device starts right here. I call my challenge the flying time. Okay, I've heard of this. This is where you have to, I think it's like a, kind of like a... Um, like a spyro thing where you have to like go around and um and basically just use cordon to go through rings and yeah i think i've seen it and i think i saw it in the trailer for this for this, for this part two of this dlc fall through the man rings next time we add to the countdown i recommend as long as the rings may as possible blah 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 i'm ready we'll see how well i control cordon because it might be a little bit difficult so you're gonna put one around please bring it out of its ball Oh, good. Well, somebody with this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agus, yes? This is, this is for you to eat. Cordon is brimming with power. With your Agus is consuming a supplement that enhances a Pokemon's flight capabilities. Prepare to lead, use a, I prepared using the leaves and mysterious plant found here growing as a Terradium. The Agus will be able to slow through the skies as it pleases, but only for the duration of the, of the trial. 
first goal within the flying limit by flying on court on the back pass for the minimum rings, you'll grant extra time. You can freely m m any direction with the left stick, move left. Oh, God. I'm going to get the feel for that. I'm more of a feel it out kind of guy instead of a reading kind of guy. So let's see. This might take me one or two tries to beat. Imagine to complete this trial, I want to go through every single ring I possibly can. But then this is actually like a flying trial, not like a falling trial. Like, not a gliding trial might actually not be that bad. Then again, flying in any video game is kind of difficult unless the game's designed to, to fly. Which Pokemon obviously probably is not. But we're going to check anyway. See what happens. Um, Okay. Two, one, start. Okay. See how bad this is. Okay, so it's in, it's not it's actually not inverted controls like it is for flying in some other games. So that's cool. This is not... I don't think it's going to be difficult unless, for some reason, the rings get really weirdly set up. Left stick down to go up, up to go left. Left to go left, right to go right. I got to use the right stick to do that. That's going to screw with me. You see me just go down, and that's... I'm gonna, hang on. That's going to screw me, because whenever I play a flying game, like, for example, Star Fox is always up is down, down is up. So that's going to screw with me a little bit. Like I said, it's probably going to be a few times to get used to. Don't hit the tree. One, go. Okay, be careful here this time. Be careful to just adjust the camera this time, otherwise I'm going to screw it up. Go up. Down, 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 down. Okay. That was things like going down and up are going to be the main issues. Me, shit. Crap, mo. Oh. Thought I screwed that up. Like, I wish the camera had, wasn't, it wasn't in free mode for this. Seems like it makes it harder. Is that it? Is that really it? Wow, that was insanely simple. I guess they had kind of make it for a, a game like this, but they could have made it a, a bit harder. I bet you there's other trials you could do with the prizes that are, that are harder that would get, might give you rewards. <clears throat> Wasn't that bad, though. It only took me a couple tries. And that's the only try because I didn't like how I screwed up. Excuse me for one second. Get off my fucking screen. Sorry. That was impressive this way punctuality. I must admit, I was satisfied. It was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you cleared my elite trial. Now change the location is required once again. Come. Going back. You're in the right face, me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Yes. Understood. Now let's resume our, resume our pal positions. Uh oh. Hang on a sec, guys. I don't know if it's screwing up for you, but my OBS is screwing up right now. I'm going to wait for it to go back to what it's supposed to be. Assuming that it does. Because sometimes the game just like to say, oh, by the way, OBS can't be used right now. I don't get why either. Like, my computer is not like the best in the world, but it should be able to run basic OBS. Well, I'd like for it to. Oh, my God. I don't get it. I don't know if it's even freaking humor right now. I might have to go open up freaking. I should have to open up freaking control panel for this stuff, for something like this. I don't have anything else open. There's nothing in my background. I don't understand what's going on. I'm going to start the whole fucking thing over. I, I can't even get my computer to respond. Damn thing. It's still running. I don't understand what the hell's going on. Okay. So I don't know if any you guys have heard any of that. I don't even know if it was doing anything, but uh, my computer just like completely like decided to go full ham right there. Um, so I didn't know if it was even gonna be able to continue the recording or not. All right, positions assumed. There's one thing I want to ask you. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you, Phoenix? Again, really? And it's happening again. Fantastic. So I'm gonna get the. 
All right. Let me play the damn OBS, yes. I don't really know, to be honest with you. He was my friend at one point, but now he's acting like he doesn't want any friends. So you're uncertain. I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I will want to be the one to help him. Being That being the case, I can't, cannot afford to lose. Our battle starts now. We're just alone just a little bit here. We're challenged by Amaris of the BB League Elite Four. She starts with... Okay, so this is obvious what's going to happen here. He's going to go for the uh, obvious combo of the Earthquake combined with that. And if I get Scorm, he's probably going to go for Body Press and or some kind of Flying Move. The good news is I do have priority because of Breloom. However, running kills might be a bit of a problem. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in one shot. We're going to put up Reflect, though. I think either way, that's going to help us. See how much Mop Watch does. It almost one-shotted it, but he has a Focus Edge, I think. I'm afraid we'll type matchup. You caught me off guard. Now my glasses are fogged up. Did I like that before we start battling? Yep, he has a sash. Now Godru Now most likely Dodru is gonna hit first now. And my speed goes down because of tangling hair, its ability. I want an iron head that that will not one shot me because of how it works. But yep, and there okay, so prelim has gone. But I did get reflect up meaning that all all physical damage now was going to be uh, reduced for a while. So now essentially I just need to pick another Pokemon that's should that actually I probably should just go right for um I think I should go for uh Flygon. That way he can't hit me with any ground type moves. Alright, so now we're going to go for a crunch a dragon claw, I think, actually, on Doug Trio. And then we're gonna go for I really can't do much damage to Scormory. But if I remember right, they both have a chance to lower the special text out. However, Psychic like does get does get a stab boost, so. There's Earthquake, I was expecting that. So it's gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt Flygon or Skarmory, but it might do a bit of damage to Renikilus even with Reflect up. Yeah, okay, so not that bad. I had a feeling that Dutch Trio had a Focus Sash, but. And then my Flygon speed goes down again. So far, not terrible. I, I had a feeling that um, Broom was gonna die pretty early in the game. Stealth Rock. Okay, so now. If we have a Pokemon switch, then we take a little bit of extra damage. And that's like it's probably going to do with chip damage. Not more than I thought. No special defense lower. Okay. So this is going to be a slight problem, I think. Because he's going to obviously have... It's obviously going to have the um, Ice Beam. But I think I'm still faster than it regardless. But I'm more worried about Empoleon than I am about Skarmory. So we're actually going to go for a double hit here. We're going to go for Flygon's Dig. The only thing that could happen here is if, if Empoleon has def, defi, Defiance, I think it's called, or Deficient, something like that, is that if I lower its special, if I lower one of its stats with Energy Ball by accident, that means that he takes, he gets his um, HP set. Okay, it goes for Whirlwind on Flygon. But luckily we both, we saw that one coming. So that's her strategy with him, that's interesting. Okay, so we're going to go back to Psychic on Skarmory. I think Flygon has enough power to knock out that Empoleon, and it does. And I even got a critical hit to make sure. So, bad luck can also play Rolls and Bells. That's good to know. Thank you. You're an Elite Four member with level 70 Pokemon and you don't know that yet? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Any special defense lower there? Nope. We'll win this time. Reticulous gets knocked off. Let's see who switches out. So, those that don't know, that forced me to switch a Mont in. So, that means Stealth Ross is going to be a problem at some point. So, we scale. No, but it's not too can, but that's going to take a lot of damage from the uh, Stealth Rock because it does more damage to flying types as they swap, swap in. Oh, she has one as well. Okay. So my first, my instinct here is to go for Reniculus again. However, I am going to also go for Rock Blast and Skarmory instead. Okay, so it goes to Protect. All right, that's fine. That means Flying Attack is not going to connect. But I think I should be faster than Skarmory and Rock Blast plus the... Choice band should be enough to knock Skarmory should be enough to knock Skarmory out. Unless it misses. Of course I had to miss. Whirlwind again, I'm guessing. Yeah. So she's being about the same as any po any Pokemon trainer, because they're just gonna abuse the hell out of stealth rocks. So who's swapping it swapping it now? 
Am I going to kill this back up again? Nope, Skelter. That's not good either because now Skelter takes more damage from because he's also weak to, to, to us. Oh my god, it's not working out very well, is it? Um, let's bring over Torch Song this time on Skarmory and I'm going to swap. Actually, nope, I can't do that because I can't swap off of... No, I can still do that. Hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it this way, I think. I can't swap out of Rock Blast, and Rock Blast will still do quite a bit of damage. There's Rock Blast. That didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. So that's going to do probably like half total, because I get five hits in. No, it's not even going to do half, I don't think. Nope. But we definitely need to get rid of Skarmory. And look at Skarmory, is not very fast. So that's also going to raise Skeldor's special attack stat. Skarmory is down. So I lost some of the HP because of the life orb. That's fine. Flying leveled up. He's going for Psychic. That's going to do a decent amount of damage. About 100, 100 damage. What is that? Leftovers? Okay. So I'm going to guess, considering this is an AI, he's gonna, she's going to immediately go for Protect again next turn for running kill list. So I'm going to focus my efforts on the Scizor she just sent out instead. Actually, she didn't go for it. That's interesting. Meaning I'm not gonna do probably any, I'm not gonna be able to do any damage to, to Renekulus this turn. A lot of people will if they have protect they'll swap between that and that and their moves because if they have leftovers they can heal their HP even when while they don't take any damage on that turn. Okay, she has an Oka Berry which re reduces fire damage, but I already did a shit ton of damage with Rock Blast, so that doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna get the special attack up. I'm gonna lose a little bit of HP because of the life orb, but it's worth it. I think she has one more Pokemon now. Either that or Rankos is not her last Mon. I'm not sure. Trick Room. Okay, so now she made it so... Uh, Trick Room makes it so... Basically swaps the speed set. So now slower Pokemon will go fa uh, first before uh, faster Pokemon. I think she has one Mon left. Either that or two. Metagross. Okay. So I am going to mention this before. I actually faced the Metagross not long before this. And, news, and Metagross going to move. Basically the more HP he has total the more damage it does. So we need to take him out insanely quickly. But unfortunately, I can't do much with with Toucanon, so time is short. Let's start this battle up. So she's going to be going to Terra, uh, Steel, Metagross, most likely, unless she's going to tear Steel, run the kills for some reason. Okay. So if you use that Steel type move, we might have a bit of an issue here, but I'm not sure... I, I don't know if Skeldred is faster with Trick Room up or if he's slower. Because Trick Room inverts the speed stat, basically. Renekus goes for Protect. I was expecting that. I might go for an Earthquake, actually. I didn't think of that. Ice Punch. Okay. Toucan is still alive, though. Torch Song. This combo should knock it out, I would think. Oh, it didn't even need... Um, didn't even need the um, Toucan's help on that one. Okay, she's, I'm pretty sure that's now she's down to one Pokemon. So this is pretty much in the bag. I wasn't too worried about that part of it. Two cannon attack will not go through because of protect. She's getting a little HP back because of leftovers. But the chance to use protect two times in a row is going to be low. But I think Nurkos could still work. For, okay, so we have Reflect is gone now. So we're going to go for Shadow Ball. And then Rock Blast. You get the first shot off, so let's see. I think the second might knock it out. Yep, I forgot how well Toucan's health actually was. We're going to get the Shadow Ball off. Uh, Skelter's special attack has been raised quite a few times, so that might... Okay, it's over. So we lost some of his HP, but Skelter still has HP left. We have been Amaris of the BB, B, BB Elite 4. I am not enough, I see. 12,800 for winning. The strength of one Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. No, you care plenty. Phoenix, you tr truly are a kind person. All right, then. Time for a photo. We must ensure that the victory is properly commemorated. <laughs> she looks so unhappy doing that. 
All right, whatever. <laughs> Still funny. Oh, she has a, like a, she has two, that's a weird, I didn't really notice the hairstyle. You can't see it from the front very well, but those are like bolts in her hair. That's weird. I'll give the TM to it, because my favorite type of move of mine. Hard press, that's what that move was called that I lost to. The move is target with a cru with an arm claw or the light to inflict damage. The more HP the target has left, the greater the move's power. Oh, so, okay, so it's not the user, it's the opponent. So basically, it's like a ring out. It's just a steel type version of it. Ring out does the same thing, basically, except it's a remote type move. It's up to you to wish to help Kieran Phoenix. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. That just took me a lot longer than I thought it would. So actually, this is going to be one complete episode. And then we're going to have Drayden show up. He's going to tell us there's only one person left, most likely, or him. Yep, there he is. And it's raining. Yo, 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 champ in the making. Three way four, you've trounced now. Can you get your game this far, making me sweat a little? Mary sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You never guess it, but they, they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. Think about Armero, as rigid as she looks, she's a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. You know, but seeing his skills up here as a close personally leaves an impression. No wonder I had such a effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your Elite Four match is going to be against me. Then she just saved the best for last. You give me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. So I am going to mention before this ends is that um, Durlion got a new evolution. All right. He most likely has it because it's Steel Dragon. Worm's going to have it. Um, it has a new, there's a new move that comes out called Electro Shot. I'm not 100% sure what that actually does. I know it charges up for one turn and then it does damage next turn. I'm actually going to look it up real quick uh, through Smogan. Because they have all the little answers here. Same thing with Hard Press. I, I, I was going to look up Hard Press and it basically tells me exactly what I need to know. So we're going to do this. We're going to go to Scarlet and Violet. We're going to put in Electro Shot. There it is. Electro Shot. Type electric, category special, 103 power, 100 accuracy, priority 0, PP 10. The attack charges on the first turn and lets you second turn. Range your special attack by one stage on the first turn. The user is holding a power herb or weather primordial sea or rain dance. The move is completed in one turn. The user holds utility and brow on the weather or primordial sea. The move still requires a turn to charge. Okay, so it's like, it's like, um, what's that other move that takes one turn? Meteor, I think it's called, is it Meteor? No. It's a, it, I think it's a dragon type move. Cosmic. Uh, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called, but it does the same thing, except I think it's either steel or dragon. Anyway, that's a pretty good move. I have to, I'll have to watch out for that. So, in this situation, I think I should save Flygon for last. Because if that Durling comes out, he's going to spam Electro Shot. The good news about dragon is I think I'm, I might actually have to do this for a second. Hang on. Um, I don't think my Pokemon are really set up for this, for dragon. I mean, I have Ice Beam, and I do have Dragon Claw. Um, I'm worried about Flygon in this situation. Let me do. Let me look at some of my moves real quick. Okay, I just want to take a look and see if I have any Dragon or Ice type moves that I could teach. Skull's not one. Rain Dance. Blah blah blah. Nope. There's Ice Beam again. Fortunately, Ice Fang, Icicle Spear, Icy Wind. Yeah, so then you can't learn any of that stuff. <clears throat> Flip turn, blah, 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 no, 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 no. Spanning Force, no. Dragon Tail's one. But I already have Dragon Pulse, Dragon Claw, Draco Meteor. There is a fairy, I could give it some, go for a couple fairy moves, but this Army Voice is too, is too weak for me to use. In that situation. Charms are not bad. Um, breaking Swipe's a good one, but once again, only... Actually, should I teach him that? Because if I can teach him that, that means that it hits both of them at the same time and lowers their attack stat. Might be more useful for the Dragon Claws in this situation. Let me just take another look through. There's Avalanche, too, but no one can learn that one. I think I might teach... Dragon, or, um, sorry. Yeah, it's, a, it's 20 less power, but it hits both enemies, and it can cause a pro, it can cause uh, attack stat to drop, which I think most dragons are attack-based and not special attack-based. So we're going to head back down here real quick, and we're going to, uh, we're going to heal up, and then I'm going to end the video right there.
pretty sure there's a healing place around here somewhere. One of those little machines. I don't get it. What? Oh, hi, Beldum. Didn't mean to talk to you, but hello. <laughs> oh, I guess I can't talk to her. I thought I could. All right, let's heal up. Oh, there's a... T hang on. What's that TM? What's the what is the TM? Let me see that. Iron defense. I guess it makes sense. All right, let's heal up. So I think it's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe. I'll get more videos out. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.